Dr. Aves, please continue. Okay. The supervisor should check that the back refer is received and in its absence, pursue the relevant staff at the higher level facility to provide uh, proper back referral information. The receiving facility can also give feedback to the initiating facility on the appropriateness of the referral. If there are many issues regarding the need of the referral, timing, speed of uh, speed or information sent, then it is important that the higher level facility provides specific feedback to the initiating facility. This will assist the lower level facility to be more sure of the referral process in the future. The receiving facility completes its own register of referrals in and out for their perspective. Now the supervision and capacity building. Facility managers and supervisors at all levels should monitor all referrals made to and from facilities in the area each month. Usually between 5 to 10% of clients seen in primary health care facility will be referred to a higher level for diagnostic services are more specialized care. Supervisors should discuss uh, referred cases, identify those uh, which would have been properly treated at the facility itself without referral, identify cases which would have been referred but were handled locally, check and back referrals received to determine whether the information is adequate and being acted upon the facility, follow up cases that have been referred but no feedback yet received to assure that the client has received uh, uh, client has arrived at a higher level identify any issues regarding timing properness and complements of information sent results of this analysis can be covered at meetings with hospital and clinic staff together as the issues are discussed staff will identify what is needed to improve uh, things this might include clinical training or strengthening of particular parts of the referral system or its procedure facility managers and supervisors need to ensure that such items are followed up and acted on Long-term uh, long treatment of chronic illnesses such as diabetes, hypertension, epilepsy, and psychiatric illness can be managed at suitable resource health center. This assures not only high quality of care for the client, but also greater convenience and less burden on the client and higher levels of health system. Now the continuity of the quality improvement. The referral system must be open to revision in the light of practical experience and in order to meet the goals of the health system overall. Periodically, there may be need to analyze the function of the referral system beyond uh, looking at the statistical patterns and trends. So this is the flowchart diagram of the referral system uh, that we have discussed in detail. Now, the first one is the health system issues that the network of service providers attendance to the adherence to the referral protocols, transport communication, and other resources, the initiating facility, uh, in this the client and their condition uh, is addressed. Protocol for care uh, is advocated there, provided care and documentation is carried out there and uh, decision has to be made whether the patient has to be referred or not. Referral uh, particulates are outward referral form, communicate with the receiving facility, information to the client, empathy and referral register. The receiving facility receives client with the referral form and treat the client and uh, document uh, whatever interventions they had done and plan the rehabilitation. Referral party, uh, referral party clients are back referral form, feedback to the initiative facility and referral register. And at the end is the supervision and capacity building. These monitor the referrals, ensure back referral feedback and training for the facility staff and feedback to the central level. Now the recent advances. Uh, first article is effectiveness of telephone-based screening and triage during COVID-19 outbreak in the prompted primary healthcare system, a case study in a double province in Iran. The aim of the current study was to evaluate the telephone-based screening and triage services in promoted primary health care system with regard to COVID-19 outbreak in terms of reducing unnecessary referral to the hospital. The method used in it is that in the first stage conducted by uh, the first stage is conducted by trained healthcare providers through telephone individuals suspected of COVID-19 were identified. In the second stage, the individuals were referred to the second level of service in comprehensive healthcare center for clinical evaluation by a physician. The results of this study is the results showed that before establishing a screening and trial system for patients in comprehensive healthcare centers, all patients were referred directly to the hospital. While after the implementation of the program, a significant reduction in hospital visits were observed, and a large number of patients undertook the care and trial services in comprehensive healthcare centers. Second article is New Transfer Care Initiative Electronic Referral from Hospital to the Community Pharmacy in England, a formative service evaluation. The objectives of this study is to evaluate an electronic patient referral system from one UK hospital trust to community pharmacies across the northeast of the England. The participants in this study are inpatients who are, who are considered to benefit from ongoing support, uh, support and continue, continuity of care after the leaving hospital.
intervention. Carried on the studies, electronic transmission of information related to the patients' medicines to the uh, community uh, community pharmacies, community pharmacies uh, pharmacies to provide a follow up uh, consultation tailored to the individual patient records. The results of the study is those patients who received a community pharmacy follow up consultation had uh, statistically significant lower rates of readmissions and shorter hospital stays than those patients without a follow up consultation. The conclusion of this study is. Hospital pharmacy staff were able to use an information technology platform to improve the coordination of care for patients transferring back home from hospital. Community pharmacists were able to contact the majority of patients and results indicate that patients receiving a follow-up consultation may have lower rates of readmission and shorter hospital stays. So now the time for MCQs. In uh, first MCQ in a rural community of 7,000 persons, which is neglected regarding health facilities, ordination is given by our local people to improve the health facilities to health authorities, keeping in mind the appropriate use of technology, which steps should be taken by the health country. Uh, whether the installation of CT scan machine, provision of uh, refrigerator for vaccine cold storage, or uh, purchasing of sophisticated cardiac surgery equipment, or uh, to give the facility of anti jack hair removal laser machine in the community. Uh, regarding the appropriate use of uh, technology, uh, the technology should be uh, uh, such that it should not be sophisticated and uh, it should be uh, it should benefit a maximum peop uh, maximum people in the community. So the installation of a refrigerator for vaccine cold storage uh, will uh, benefit a lot of people. So the B is the correct option. And second MCQ: A newly married couple from remote area wants to seek advice regarding family planning. Where the couple has to approach to seek to see uh, to seek advice, keeping in mind the various facilities provided the different health, health facilities. First option is from their elders. Second option is nearest uh, BSC health units. Third one is far away tertiary care hospital or from a private clinic of a gynecology in big city, which is the correct option. B. B. Yes, B is the correct option because. Uh, Basic facilities are provided by the primary health care centers like mother and child health care services, family planning, immunization, outdoor therapeutic procedures. So family planning uh, can be addressed at the basic health units. The primary health care in the health care system is the dash as compared with other levels of uh, care. Whether it is less costly for the community and the system, whether it is less costly for the community but not for the system, it is most costly or same costly. The primary health care system is, uh, as compared uh, to all, is less costly for the community as far as for the system. Fourth MCQ is 24-year-old lady presented in BHU at night. The on-duty LHV carefully examined her and, cons uh, and concluded that there is an indication of emergency lower segment section due to fetal distress. As there is no facility for OT in BHU, what should be her, net, uh, her best next plan to manage this patient? Whether he has to wait till morning so that senior allergy come and manage her, whether he has to give a trial of spontaneous vaginal DVDV, or whether he has to counsel, she has to counsel the patient to wait till the labor pains, or she has to immediately make arrangement for referring the patient to specialized healthcare. D. Yes, D is the correct option. Primary healthcare is a total approach to community development. Which of the following is not an indicator of the success in the use of primary healthcare approach? Whether it is accessibility, acceptability, appropriateness, or inequity. D. Uh, yes, uh, D is the correct option as equity is the indicator of success in primary healthcare. A 55-year-old male has productive cough for four weeks along with low-grade fever and night stress. The first contact of this person with the health system will be uh, to the primary health care, secondary health care, tertiary health care, or specialized health care? A. Yes, A is the right option. Uh, as already discussed, that the uh, basic health services are provided at the primary health care services. The government has allocated a budget for new construction of BHU in a district. The ideal location for BHU will be whether it is near to a THQ hospital so that referred patients uh, can be easily shifted there, whether it is near to a community of 20 houses li uh, living far away from a city so that healthcare facilities can reach there, 
or it has to near to a river so that amino acid only can secrete be dealt there or it should be near to a well cytokine colony of 7000 rich people Uh, according to the equity, uh, the healthcare services should be provided irrespective of the age, gender, social, economic status, uh, and it should be provided those who uh, that the healthcare uh, services should be provided to those who need them the most. A tertiary care hospital purchase, uh, HMCQ is a tertiary care hospital purchase personal protective equipment. Reduce the spread of COVID-19 due to limited resources. The hospital administration issued these personal protective equipments only to those workers who are directly involved in managing COVID-19 infected patients. While the risk of infection is among all the health staff, this is an example of whether it is equity, equality, injustice, or favoritism. A. Yes, A is the uh, right option. as already discussed about the equity and equality in many national immunization drives and sub national immunization and drives for polio eradication campaigns along with polio vaccination drops vitamin a containing capsules are also given to children to all children from age 6 months to 59 months of age irrespective of their nutrition status and micronutrition deficiency this is an example of whether it is equity equality injustice or favoritism this is an example of equality because in equality uh, healthcare services or facilities are provided to all the, uh, to all the persons in the community or to the particular uh, part particular to the group irrespective of their needs while in equality the healthcare facilities or services are provided to those who uh, need them the most tenth mcq is The rescue double one double two staff inform the on duty MO at THQ Hospital that they are bringing a victim of a road traffic accident who has serious injuries. Patient is unconscious and there is bleeding from nose, mouth, and ears. What should be the next uh, management plan? Whether he has to tell the ambulance to take the patient directly to the Trashy Care Hospital, whether he has to treat the patient entirely in THQ with available resources, or first he has to assess the patient and give best initial possible care and then refer the patient. Ah, uh, there is no need to take any step. C. Yes, C is the uh, correct option because in referral system, uh, if the case cannot be managed at the lower healthcare facility level, uh, first he has uh, the patient has to be assessed uh, and give uh, and initially the best possible initial care should be given at that facility uh, with the available resources and then the decision for the referral is made. This is the key to the MCQs. These are the references of my presentation. and thank you very much thank you very much dr avesh it is a very good presentation however it is a very long one and i would suggest that if anybody has such a uh, long presentation they can divide it it into two parts the part one may be present initially and the part two may follow it later on so every slide that is very very important has to have presented moreover if uh, you go to the last mcq i think uh, that it is not 